So in the perfect map course that I run together with Daniel Jureman, um, I got a really interesting question from someone asking about how to work with KPIs and key performance indicators in customer journey maps. The question was related to the fact that this person got asked to create a customer journey map. And one of the things we teach in the course is that you have to, from the very start, know which key performance indicators you're going to influence. What are the things that are important to the business? And in this case, um, that's unclear. So the only assignment was create a customer journey map. And the question was, how do you find the key performance indicators that you should work with? Well, the, my answer to that is go back to the person who asked you to create the customer journey map. Don't start mapping before you have the answer to this. And this is so important because otherwise you'll just create a nice overview and no action will be taken. Now, a customer journey map is always a means to an end. It's always a means to an end. Even if you're using it as an overview, it's uh, the means is to build a shared understanding, a common language, stuff like that. Um, a customer journey map is never the end goal. So you have to go back to into the business and ask around what what are the challenges we're facing why do we actually need a customer journey map what isn't at the level that we want it to be what isn't working uh, the way we want it to uh, be figure that out uh, talk to the right people talk to the people who have who do have kpis who do have targets and if you have them, it becomes much easier to do the rest of the journey mapping process because you'll, you'll be able to focus on the right things. Otherwise, you'll also have to make, uh, you'll have to map everything. It becomes big and KPIs help you to focus. So to make a long story short, go back to the people who gave you the assignment, um, do a workshop with them, do a session with them, but don't continue with the journey map before you have some direction about key performance indicators related to your customer journey, related to customer experience, figure that out first. What is your take on this? How do you figure out uh, which KPIs are important and which ones you should focus on? What is your strategy and tactic? Um, and have you been in a similar situation where you, had, where you were asked to map a journey without knowing actually why? you were mapping the journey and if so what did you do and how did that end leave a comment down below i'd love to know so thanks for the question um and yeah i'll try to answer more questions that we get in the perfect map from customer journey mapping practitioners thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video